didn't we go green? Did we not know about the environmental impact? How do we switch existing products with green technology? How can the change benefit our economy? What is being done in other countries? These are all valid questions. So, how can green technology change our world? The Ministry of Energy, Green Technology and Water has undertaken several initiatives to promote the development and application of green technology. The Ministry will be hosting the International Green Tech and Eco Products Exhibition and Conference Malaysia or IGEM 2010 from 14 to 17 October 2010 at the Kuala Lumpur Convention Centre. This inaugural event aims to provide the essential platform to feature innovative eco products, green technologies and services. They will guide you to the answers. Distinguished and internationally renowned speakers. International Green Technology and Purchasing Conference 2010. Voice your thoughts to question at the conference. It gives me great pleasure to welcome people from all works of life to support our green initiative and join iGEM 2010. iGEM 2010, Kuala Lumpur Convention Center, 14th to 17th October 2010. Visit www.igem.com.my to make the change. A Green New Deal. Well, it's of course called the International Green Tech and Eco Products Exhibition and Conference Malaysia. That's iGEM 2010 happening in Kuala Lumpur and that uh, is from the 14th to the 17th of October this year. It is also themed a Green New Deal. Very interesting here and it gathers about 500 booths and of course renowned exhibitors and also speakers at this conference. And to tell us more, uh, we are honoured to invite on board to very renowned speakers and of course people who are primarily involved in this entire effort. Uh, Yang Berhormat Datu Sri Peter Chin Fakui, Minister of Energy, Green Technology and Water, Malaysia. And right next to him, my very uh, actually old friend, Tan Sri Mustafa Mansur, Green Purchasing Networks Malaysia President. Welcome Tan Sri to uh, Hello Malaysia. And the number to call if you have any questions at all, I'm sure you do as uh, this is a very noble effort by the government to raise awareness and of course spend a lot of money to increase uh, the thought and of course the initiative to implement green technology in whatever we do especially businesses do call us at 0326937008 Yang Berhormat perhaps we can start uh, with you telling us uh, what is the whole idea of having iGEM 2010 Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Thank you. As far as the ministry is concerned, or the government, the ministry representing the government is concerned, there is a need for, first of all, create awareness within our own population okay. on what is called green technologies. Um, basically, if you were to put it in a nutshell, green technologies means those technologies that uh, have an element of uh, low carbon emission. So anything con concerning uh, this particular uh, aspect, uh, you can more or less say that it is a green technology. Okay. So in Malaysia, uh, we are committed towards uh, reduction of carbon emission. Uh, as the Prime Minister himself uh, has in the last World Conference on Climate Change in Copenhagen uh, undertaken to reduce by 40% Malaysia's uh, emission of uh, carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases uh, by, uh, by the year 2020. 
and uh, that is on based on the level of 205 emissions so it is left to my ministry uh, which is uh, task uh, towards introduction of uh, green technology as my ministry is is named you know uh, green technology to try and um, master efforts uh, from all over the country uh, to create that awareness that I was talking about earlier on. Mm -hmm. So IJM therefore is our vehicle uh, working with uh, a green purchasing network, mm -hmm. uh, Malaysia, uh, to create this awareness uh, through this media, through this uh, IJM, uh, which is basically an exhibition and a conference mm -hmm. uh, together. Uh, from the 14th of, to 17th October, uh, so that our population within the country uh, can visit these exhibitions and um, be, be become more aware. And of course, uh, we participate in these exhibitions, mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, you can see uh, from our perspective, we want to get as many people involved as possible, not just uh, manufacturers, not just uh, uh, technology uh, uh, vendors, but also uh, our business people, uh, our small uh, SMIs, for example, uh, uh, getting them involved. Uh, our our university students, for example, get them involved in uh, separate events. Eh? Mm -hmm. And of course, our um, uh, uh, academicians who will be featured very prominently during our conference. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so th the whole idea is get everybody involved as much as possible uh, and also introduce these elements of uh, uh, foreign uh, companies participating in it right. and uh, you know we, we have uh, almost 60 percent of the boots are being taken off taken uh, um, uh, by uh, foreign companies mm. who are uh, you know setting up pavilions who are putting up uh, their own shows uh, within the conf uh, within the exhibition to uh, introduce their technologies their green technologies Interesting. And in fact, mm. on that note where he spoke about um, getting everybody involved now, and obviously Green Purchasing Networks Malaysia is involved, but for the benefit of the viewers, perhaps we could start with Tan Sri telling us more about actually what Green Purchasing Networks Malaysia, GPNM, actually does. Thank you, Ian. I mm. think uh, the, <coughs> the Green Purchasing Network actually were, was, the, was formed, the Green Purchasing Network Malaysia was formed yes. in 2003, and uh, it was involved with an uh, with an exhibition called the Eco Product, which was uh, uh, hosted in 2004, mm -hmm. together with the Japanese, uh, with the APO, and uh, with the Federation of Malaysian Manufacturers, and uh, the the aim of the uh, of the GPN uh, Green Purchasing Network is to create awareness, especially as what. Uh, uh, yeah, more about Madrid uh, mentioned earlier to create awareness among uh, here in this case among the consumers, among the industries, and uh, and also uh, among the uh, the administrators, mm. uh, because all walk of life should be uh, fully aware of these uh, of these uh, uh, green initiatives, uh, right. and uh, we, we we must remember that uh, as far as uh, we are concerned. The the biggest or the largest procurement house in Malaysia is the government. Yeah. So I would like to appeal that I think that the Prime Minister himself is fully aware that uh, we have to take the initiatives to, to, to ensure that whatever the government, whatever the private sector purchases uh, are actually green product. Mm -hmm. This has got some, uh, I think, uh, has a lot of implication, especially to manufactured products, uh, because as you know that uh, manufacturing, uh, huh? manufacturing okay. is very important here. That uh, they uh, they take they take uh, uh, pieces hmm. uh, that uh, all the raw material that they use, the the source of uh, energy, uh, the. Uh, uh, the uh, the I think in this case the uh, human resource mm -hmm. uh, 
And all those have, have to be taken into account because uh, we don't want to be suddenly you find that the, the, the countries like Japan, mm. uh, even Taiwan, Korea, Europe, suddenly they, they, have, they, they are actually very particular about the products that you use. Then uh, you, you find that your product may not be able to penetrate into the market. This, this is not, not uh, what, as, what people would say that it would be a non-tariff barrier. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is something that uh, is being practiced by, by, uh, by nations like, uh, by countries like Japan, Korea. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in, Korea, in Japan, they're very strong. I don't have to mention the name of the company. If you're not part of the, the green purchasing network, network. Mm -hmm. you know, the green purchasing network, uh, if you find that uh, you don't recycle your product, you may not be able to sell your product wow. as a raw material or as components. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we, we have been, there, there were cases where even some of our product were, were actually uh, were actually exported to Japan, uh, to, to Europe, mm -hmm. and they found a certain uh, large, uh, a high percentage of lead, for instance, mm. and our products were, were banned. Yeah. from entering right. that particular country. So all, all this should be thought about, especially by yes. you know um, companies, especially yes. manufacturers out there. And uh, would you say, uh, YB, uh, that uh, some of the companies or participants at this conference will actually be these companies, right. you know, whom uh, you want to target? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Uh, b basically, the, this, uh, this exhibition and conference, uh, it is uh, sort of uh, segmented uh, into four segments. Mm -hmm. One is on energy, right. you know, um, green energy, uh, renewable energy, mm -hmm. you know, solar energy, etc. Mm -hmm. And then the second segment is on uh, buildings. You know, buildings, uh, you, we all might not realize it, buildings in fact are very big consumers of energy. So we want buildings, for example, to be um, to be clean in the sense that uh, they they have uh, efficiency in terms of energy usage. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you're right. I, I I think most of us don't realize that. Mm -hmm. you know? Especially yeah. index. Uh, yeah. Index. Yeah. The GBI. Yeah. Green right. building index. Okay. Green building index. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have uh, transport, for example. Transport is also a very big uh, element in this exhibition. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously because of the uh, emission from our exhausts and so on, huh? mm -hmm. uh, it affects our our you know our uh, environment, right. and, and therefore transportation is a, is also a big uh, segment of this exhibition. Mm -hmm. And finally. Uh, uh, Water and uh, wastewater uh, uh, um, treatment right. uh, is also another big segment uh -huh. within the exhibition. Uh -huh. And of course, uh, um, related to all these sectors will be the eco products that was Tan Sri was talking about. Uh -huh. And uh, I just like to add a, a point there uh, of what Tan Sri has just mentioned. We, Malaysia is now on the road towards uh, eco labeling, for example. Right. No, uh, that's, that's mentioned. Really yes, yeah, yeah. mentioned that if yeah. if you are not eco-friendly, for example, mm -hmm. uh, your products may not be exported or, or being welcomed by by countries overseas. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, within our own uh, Malaysian context, uh, we will want to see products coming in that are eco-friendly as well, mm -hmm. you see? So vice versa. That's right, mm -hmm. vice versa. And mm -hmm. we have to establish a standard towards these products that are exported or being imported. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, we are well on the way to do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, comparing to the West, and this is the perception that most people out there would have, is that Malaysia yeah, is still lagging behind yeah, in terms of um, awareness or even application or implementation of this technology. Tansri, perhaps we can have your take yes, on I, this. I, I fully agree with you because uh, this is uh, something new for, for the Malaysian public and uh, that's the reason why we feel that this is the uh, uh, this is the first uh, IGM that we're going to have here to create the awareness. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I, I must tell you that uh, it's not easy. 
is not easy and especially uh, people uh, especially if you want to get industries to invest mm -hmm. because they say that capital in investment mm -hmm. is very high they will have to spend you have to spend <laughs> yeah. money but in, the, in, the, in yeah. the long run if you look at it uh, because uh, when you are uh, able to improve especially on the eco-friendly you find that uh, you will be more in terms of uh, uh, efficient mm -hmm. and less carbon emission and which is I think uh, something that we have to consider mm -hmm. uh, for the future of, of our next generation. Mm -hmm. I think this would benefit the next generation and uh, the if you were to look at the uh, the the industry the industry uh, I know that uh, uh, industries have always uh, uh, been very wary, especially with the uh, Ministry of Environment. Those days right. they have the Ministry of Environment, the discharge of effluence, the dis discharge, uh, there was no control at all. And so much so that we find that uh, it is going to affect not only the industry, but the whole country itself. Mm. You find rivers, dead rivers mm. everything been discharged into the river mm -hmm. and uh, at the same time all the um, the uh, the, the oil mm. being used engine oil being thrown all over the places whereas with this IGM there'll be exhibitors exhibiting promoting showcasing Solution. some uh, solutions, solutions and how to manage solution. this waste yeah. exactly. mm. how to how to manage mm. waste right all right yeah. i think this solution part if i may just say so is uh, perhaps some of the things that our people can learn from igem because uh, a lot of these exhibitors who are participating in iGEMS are really exhibiting, uh, producing, uh, showcasing their own technological solutions, mm. green technological solutions towards our problem of pollution, towards our problem of uh, less emission, towards our problem of uh, energy efficiency, yeah. uh, and so on. So uh, I would think that uh, it will benefit our people a lot it's if, definitely going to interest a lot of people. Right, if they go and visit this exhibition. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, we'll take a short break, very, very short break. We'll be right back here and to talk more about IGEM, which is International Green Tech and Eco Products Exhibition, and also Conference Malaysia happening from the 14th to the 17th of October at the Kuala Lumpur Convention Centre Malaysia. Stay with us on Hello Malaysia. We'll be right back for more. Yes, welcome back and thanks for staying with us and as we were talking about just now on the International Green Tech and Eco Products uh, Exhibition and Conference Malaysia 2010, that's of course iGEM, uh, there's a lot of focus and mainly will be on energy, that's saving energy of course, that will be cost efficient of course in future and also to look into transportation which is of course a big issue right here in Malaysia as well to you know uh, reduce uh, carbon emission and of course there is a focus on uh, promoting green building uh, and that is also included in last year's budget. We remember the Prime Minister talking about uh, promoting the Green Building Index, GBI, and also um, a very specific focus on how to uh, actually manage uh, waste. That will be another interesting feature at the conference. Um, right next to me, uh, YB Dato Sri Peter Chin Fakoy, uh, introduce again the Minister of Energy, Green Technology and Water Malaysia and also Tansri Mustafa Manso, Green Purchasing Networks Malaysia President or uh, GPNM. And you are also, I understand, uh, Tansri, the President of FMM. Yes. You're very synonymous with FMM. We all remember. <laughs> YB. And number to call if you have any questions to call us at 0326 937 The lines are open right now. And just when I'm mentioning uh, about the number, there is a caller on the line right now. Hello. Jessly KL. Leslie KL. Okay. Hello, Leslie. Yes. Uh, I would like to uh, forward my question to okay. Dr. Sri Mantri. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Sri just now mentioned that IGM 2010 involves uh, university and college students. 
are there specific programs or activities that is uh, that are catered for these students? Mm -hmm. And I have another question is that uh, Dr. Sri Mantri just now mentioned that there are more than 500 booths. Um, how many countries are involved in these exhibitions? Mm -hmm. uh, are there specific countries uh, They are very well in advance in green technology? Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Leslie. Yeah, um, first question. Okay, university and college students, that's um, another focus group that will be at the conference. Uh, perhaps, YB, you can explain yeah. further as to their participation at the conference. We have a specific programs mm -hmm. for universities. In fact, there are seven universities which are identified uh, uh, within uh, Malaysia itself to participate in a special program that we have uh, prepared for them. Yeah, mm. And uh, this is uh, um, in terms of their um, knowledge, in terms of what they are doing within the universities, mm -hmm. they can exchange views amongst themselves, they can compare um, projects that have done with uh, i.e. green technologies projects mm -hmm. within their ministries, research, research mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is a good interaction uh, uh, chance for uh, opportunity for this uh, seven years universities, mm -hmm. which I think it is a good thing because uh, basically uh, sometimes we, we, we see universities doing their own thing, uh, you know, but uh, there is uh, a lot, you know, opportunities like this course of uh, amongst themselves and um, getting their, their uh, what do you call, projects being known. Maybe there's collaborative efforts mm -hmm. uh, resulting from all this. Most of the time the research that they do, perhaps it's not really, you know, promoted out there yeah not many right. people know about some of the research and new right. development that's being right. implemented yes. okay and the more than 500 booths mm. yeah um, the, the other mm. point that I like to also mention um, to Leslie who, mm. who was asking us there is also this uh, day to dream uh, day to dream challenge challenge yeah maybe Tansri can uh, yeah, maybe, uh, explain uh, a if bit. I could uh, mm. your mom, dream, uh, is this your idea Tansri that dream well this is part of the GPNM <laughs> Uh, GPNM uh, idea. Okay. Uh, well, uh, we. Uh, this is something uh, where we encourage uh, creativity and innov innovation. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, especially uh, to showcase certain part of visual arts and uh, photojournalism among universities and colleges. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, actually, when the the the, uh, the the judging or uh, has been done, mm -hmm. and there are they were actually all together, uh, all together twenty four, mm. the twenty four visual arts uh, being uh, uh, that comes under uh, under category A, and category B, there are seventeen photojournalism, right, and uh, the the judge uh, the. The judging was done to, uh, on the 5th of October, the day when we had our last meeting, mm -hmm. and uh, and they are being judged by a panel of judges headed by uh, Yamulia Raja Ratim Paduka Fuzia bin Raja Binti Raja Uda, mm -hmm. and also other eminent uh, eminent personality in their uh, in their field, and uh, the. Uh, the winners will be uh, will be will be awarded uh, during a prize giving uh, to be held on the 14th of uh, October, mm -hmm. which is during the during okay. the IGM. Okay, yes. during the IGM. Yes. And I also understand that uh, you know another question that came to from Leslie just now was he was asking about the more than 500 boots. Correct. Yeah, that will be. So this is confirmed. Yeah. So yes. Uh, in fact, uh, nearly all the boots have been uh, sold out now. Mm. Mm. And uh, I'm particularly happy to mention that uh, there are 15 uh, pavilions mm. within the exhibition halls, uh, which is, uh, I was told that the, uh, this pavilion is going to be very impressive, mm. uh, representing various countries. Uh, amongst the foreign countries uh, that are, who are part, which are participating uh, will be the European countries, for example, uh, Austria, uh, Denmark, Denmark mm -hmm. uh, Germany, Germany, yeah, mm -hmm. 
Uh, then we have the Japanese companies uh, who are very strong, uh, the Korean companies, the Singaporeans, Taiwan. uh, Taiwanese. Mm-hmm. So uh, there is a very good mixture mm-hmm. of uh, companies, big and small. Yeah, um, but many of them who uh, who have taken up the uh, pavilions are multinationals. Uh, they, they are the big boys. Mm-hmm. So I think I I I can imagine, you know. That sort of uh, new technologies, green technologies that they are going to uh, bring to Malaysia, uh, to to our public here. Uh, I also like to perhaps take a a bit of time to explain that uh, we have other activities uh, which is designed to help uh, this uh, IGM 2010 a success. And that is uh, to make sure that businessmen from abroad uh, can uh, come to the exhibition and there will be a B2B sessions uh, where, the, where the business people will m- be able to meet with uh, uh, you know, counterparts or mix with interested uh, technology uh, buyers and so on. So that... Um, so this is the one-to-one business matching business sessions. Matching. Matching, business matching. Business matching. matching. Mm-hmm. So that uh, the IGM itself can be uh, viewed as a hub for business, for green business. And, and if we can succeed on doing that, uh, it will mean that um, KL Kuala Lumpur will uh, become well known for you know, green business. And, and, and uh, I think this is what uh, Tan Sri and myself have been mooting on how to create this atmosphere, how to bring about businessmen from all over the world to come to KL during this period of time and do business and do green business. Yeah. Interesting green mm. business. Green yeah? business. Yeah. In yeah. fact, uh, as what well, uh, to to support uh, what uh, uh, Dr. Sri mentioned. In fact, uh, we and the ministry is well supported by other government agencies as well. Right. Exactly. Especially bringing the the buyers from mm. uh, from overseas. Mm-hmm. This is where uh, Matrade comes in. Mm. Uh, they uh, they are the people responsible for bringing. Uh, uh, the, the businessman to uh, so Madrid is also involved also in involved yeah. the Ministry of yeah. Higher Education is also involved mm-hmm. in the Dare to Dream uh, section mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. tourism is tourism, tourism is also involved tourism, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. at the same time there, there, there is another another aspect of it uh, we are also promoting the 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 eco lifestyle yeah I was just coming to that after yes. your Dare to Dream challenge you yes know? yeah mm. would this be one of the hot subjects as well or hot topics yeah eco lifestyle mm-hmm. where I think uh, uh, we we are looking at lifestyle in terms of uh, finishing, mm-hmm. uh, finishing dresses, design, fashion, mm-hmm. using recycle, uh, recycle polyester, mm-hmm. uh, using uh, fabric made out of uh, banana, mm-hmm. uh, banana, uh, banana leaves, mm-hmm. and these have been processed. At the same time, uh, the there is a there is a showcasing uh, show, showcase uh, by one of the universities on the lampshades made, made from green uh, green product. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean you're saving on on all these materials and yes. looking good. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's eco lifestyle. I also understand that's university collaborative labs. Right. That, what, what feature is that? Oh, that's what, what I was talking about. The seven universities. The seven that, universities, yeah. yeah within mm-hmm. the country uh, mm-hmm. to collaborate, collaborate on their research, collaborate on their uh, progress and mm-hmm. activities made with re- regards to uh, green technology. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we'll take another short break and we'll discuss actually further on another conference which is actually held in conjunction, yeah, which mm-hmm. is the International Green Technology and Purchasing Conference. That's sure. also held on the 15th to the oh, 16th of October. 16th. Yes. Yeah, okay, we'll be back for more to talk about the Green New Deal. That's, of course, the theme at iGEM 2010. Stay with us on Hello Malaysia. We'll be right back. Kuala Lumpur.
The time, ladies and gentlemen, has come for Malaysia to go green. Today, this city is a witness to the birth of new industries. iGEM 2010. Five hundred exhibitors from all over the world will be here to participate in Malaysia's first ever green technology exhibition. They are innovators, inventors, rebels. They want to change the world. There will be more of them. And they are responding to a world in need of change. And the world will be here to speak, to listen, to initiate, to receive, to confer with colleagues and experts in roundtable discussion and work for the greater good. While some may believe differently, we believe this is our moment, a chance to play it differently. IGEM 2010, Kuala Lumpur Convention Center, Malaysia. Your participation makes a difference. Register at www.igem.com.my. A Green New Deal. Well, that deal definitely looks very beautiful and breathtaking. Wouldn't we all like to live in such a beautiful and, of course, clean country with beautiful blue skies? And uh, actually joining us on the line right now is uh, Miss Lin Linda. Yeah, hi, Linda from KL. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm Linda from uh, Johor. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. Go ahead, you have a question? Hi, mm -hmm. hi. Hello, Dato. Apa kabar? Bye. <laughs> Okay, I have one question for you, Dato. Yes. Um, since the iGEM 2010 is to promote green technology business, we are business to business program. Are we having any specific matchmaking session promoted by um, Metric? Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Uh, that is the whole point about this B two B. Matred are bringing. Uh, Matred is bringing in uh, a lot of uh, uh, identified purchasers from overseas. In fact, we spent quite a bit of money mm -hmm. to bring these purchasers in, so that uh, our local technologies and um, uh, products and so on can be introduced to them. And similarly, uh, the exhibitors. Uh, who are uh, what they call showcasing their technologies within their booths and uh, pavilions, uh, they can introduce their technologies uh, to Malaysians who are, uh, you know, visiting the exhibitions. Business uh, persons like you, I presume, uh, can then uh, uh, visit the, 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 the exhibition and also participate in our B2B uh, 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 sessions uh, that when you are, if you are interested. So, so I guess Linda will be coming. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I hope so. I hope. You have another question? Linda is still on the line. Hello. That's all. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very Linda. much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Tansri, would you like to add anything? That? Yeah, I think on the uh, business uh, matchmaking. Business matchmaking. Mm -hmm. uh, the I think uh, nothing much to add, but uh, uh, as what uh, young yeah, Mr. We, we are spending a lot of money. Mm. And uh, how much and is that? <laughs> Well, I think they're depending on it. Is that it. a dangerous figure? No. Okay. Yeah. I think, uh, to be fair to my trade, I mm. think uh, they have put up, uh, they've, they've made a, a strong effort here. I yeah. think uh, an effort to bring these uh, potential buyers. Mm. And also, uh, for those uh, who, are, who are interested, who may come to, to the exhibition, uh, can also register themselves. And to meet up with the exhibitors and and also the uh, the technology uh, the uh, the technology the technologies here mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, because uh, I think for what uh, for those who have not who may not know that well the best thing is to come over mm -hmm. and to visit the uh, the uh, the fair or the exhibition okay. then they could see for themselves it opens the eyes and. Mm -hmm. uh, 
that something that they have never seen before will be exhibited there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'd be surprised that uh, uh, when I first went to Japan, I was very surprised to see some of the products uh, being exhibited mm -hmm. uh, beyond our imagination. Mm -hmm. How much uh, Japan has put in a lot of effort here to really uh, ensure that the, the life, the quality of life of the of our next generation are well looked after. Mm -hmm. But do you think with all that um, interest and of course motivation that local companies, uh, Malaysian companies are drawn yeah, to, to also take this path, you know, to create uh, products which are more eco-friendly, do you see that happening? Yes, yeah. I think uh, the, some of the SMEs you'd be surprised they have come up with some new invention mm. and, uh, and, and also and also, we have our national car. Proton is going to be there. I think uh, they're going to uh, they're going to showcase their mm. the hybrid car. Mm -hmm. And uh, Modena is uh, is coming up with uh, the hybrid, uh, the eco-friendly motor motorbikes as well. Mm -hmm. So we have a number of uh, Malaysian companies, uh, big and small. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and uh, I think uh, if uh, mm -hmm. Lato wants to elaborate further yeah. on the right. special funding mm -hmm. that the government special is giving. Special yeah. funding, yeah, that's, that's for right. which yes. level of companies? Yeah, I, I, I just like to, uh, on what we are trying to do with this IGM 2010, mm -hmm. uh, one of the uh, important objective uh, is to try and foster the development of eco-entrepreneurship you know, uh, within Malaysians uh, society. Uh, we want to be a catalyst. This IGM is a catalyst for uh, entrepreneurs who are interested in eco products, eco manufacturing. So what do you call them again? Eco entrepreneurs. Yeah. yeah. So, so that, uh, you know, th th it is a start of an industry. Mm -hmm and an important industry for that matter, for the future of the, our country. So if we have uh, a group of, uh, we, we can, through IGM 2010, f start some form of uh, uh, interest and therefore uh, sustain it over the future, then I think we will be able to build up this mm -hmm. uh, industry, you know, uh, that is, cons that is uh, uh, green that is uh, centered on eco products, mm. uh, using green technologies, and therefore um, it becomes like a, another growth area okay. for the economy. Yeah, and, and so I think group. this this part uh, I think we must not forget that uh, while the government is interested on this, it's not this to put on a show, but with a very strong objective, and that mm. objective is to make uh, to promote green growth mm. within the economy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have another call on the line, actually, while we're speaking. Um, Lachi, who is from Srem... Lachmi. Yeah, thank you so much, from uh, Sremban, Orang Kampung. Eh? Hello, Lachmi. I'm from Sremban. Thank you so much for calling. You have a question? Um, hello, Anne. Yes. And to the Tantri, Yang Berhormat, Yang Berhormat, uh, Tantri Tantri, <laughs> I would like to ask you to elaborate more on that... Uh, Miraculous uh, story just said about materials made out of banana leaf. Mm. Mm. Well, uh, uh, is, is that all? Yes, and then is the entrance free of charge? Uh, yeah. Okay. The, the one I can answer. Can I answer yes. that? Yes. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is free of charge. It's free of charge. Yeah. Exhibition. Exhibition is free of charge. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead with the well, banana I think leaf. Well, this uh, actually is the findings, uh, research done by University of Science Malaysia, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, conducted by Dr. Umar, mm -hmm. and uh, he is he will be exhibiting, showcasing his product, and this product has is not new in the market but it has not been well promoted. Oh. So if you would like to see, you need to know more about it, please come to the IGM. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but, but just a bit more before we go to yes. the IGM. Um, banana leaf? Banana leaves and uh, stem. Yes. Fiber and the fiber. Yes. From the fiber, they have converted that to be, uh, to, to form similar to left yeah. fabric. Yeah. Mm. And they make lampshade out of it. 
Hmm. Is that Lentern. expensive to do? Is that expensive no. to do? No. Yeah? No. Eco-friendly. It's oh. very eco. You very know, green. Oh. Fiber is a is a natural thing, you know. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a renewable product, it's a natural thing. So if you have used natural fiber rather than synthetic fiber, yes. then you are promoting uh, this what we call green growth, you see? Mm -hmm. uh, where it is eco-friendly, it is recyclable. So I mean, recyclable in the sense that it is uh, it is renewable. In the, in the sense that you can always grow another banana, you know. Yeah. And it grows very fast. Yeah, and it grows just very like, fast. Uh, <laughs> just like in the Philippines. Yeah, they have uh, they the use fabric, uh, 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 from pineapple. From pineapple. Mm. Mm. Pineapple leaves. Mm. Right. The fiber. Yeah, it's from the fiber. Yeah, actually. I w I was uh, minister in charge of uh, you know commodities, commodities previously, yes. mm. and uh, I used to promote the uh, kanaf. Kena fiber. Uh, Kena fiber. Hmm. fiber. It is. It it produces a very very fine uh, textile. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and it, very valuable. Very, I mean, valuable in the sense that it, it is sought after by you know, for example, Japanese. Japanese. They like a uh, kena fiber as a sh to make a shirt because they feel that it is very cooling to the body. Isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Actually, it's very exotic, mm. perhaps, as well. Mm. Okay, we have another call on the line right now before we go for another commercial break. Uh, Mr. Jason from KL, hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Jason. How are you? I'm doing fine. Good okay. evening, YB, the uh, country, YB, mm. the Tumitri. Good, mor uh, good morning. Uh, good evening. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. How are YB you? Datu, I'm yeah. fine. Um, YB, the Tumitri, this question uh, I'd like to just address this to you. Yes. Uh, Why did I thought, um, you mentioned about IGM conference? Would you elaborate further on what this conference is all about and its direction within the next one to two years? Mm. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you very Thank much. You. Uh, yeah, part of this IGM uh, is this exhibition, and then the other part is the conference. So, in fact, the conference is featured quite uh, importantly or uh, prominently in our IGM 2010 because uh, we want to uh, ensure that during this uh, IGM, we also gather the academicians, the uh, the researchers, the scientists who are participating, who, who, who are willing to participate in such a conference, uh, we, we, we team it as low carbon green growth, mm. low carbon green growth. So the theme of this uh, conference will be therefore centered on what we are talking about, green technologies, uh, how we can uh, use these green technologies to promote green growth, like mm. what I mentioned about uh, you know, gr uh, a growth sector in our economy. So during this conference, we have invited uh, many uh, uh, prominent speakers. Uh, uh, in fact, there are 90 uh, speakers you know, uh, and and uh, panelists being invited to uh, to the conference. Uh, amongst the uh, prominent uh, speakers uh, to this conference, of course, our Yang Ahmad Bohomat uh, Timbalan Perdana Menteri himself is also speaking because he is uh, giving uh, the um, the ucap tama or the um, keynote, yes. keynote address. Yeah, and then we have this uh, the Professor Dr. Ernst Urik uh, von uh, he, he is a renowned uh, German um, uh, personality uh, in the International Panel on Sustainable Resource and, and Management. So he is well known, a uh, well known speaker. Uh, Professor Roichi Yamamoto, uh, she, he is chairman of the International Green Purchasing Network, of which Dan Sri is our Malaysian uh, you know, uh, chapter's. Uh, President, and uh, he is very uh, well known in terms of green eco products and so on. Uh, how climate it change. can climate change, climate change, and how he how this can be promoted Ryuji. within our country. Mm. Climate change, yes. Climate change. And then we have uh, Tansri uh, Bashe himself uh, as a uh, managing director and CEO of Malaysian Airports. Uh, he has been very proud of wanting to build a. Uh, eco airport, you know, uh, uh, eco-friendly airport. 
uh, what do you call a, a, a airport that is um, green? Uh, that is green. Yes, exactly. That is green. So we have many other speakers uh, locally as well as uh, overseas who are coming, and uh, I think they. Um, I encourage you know uh, those of uh, uh, people who are interested in this conference and have not registered. Uh, please register now. And you can uh, do that online, right? You can you do, register yeah, online. You can, yeah, you can online. do that online. Online, yes. yeah. Which please is, register and be part of this interesting conference. Mm -hmm. There are eight parallel sessions, you know, that you can choose from. Uh, it's a two-day conference, and I'm sure it, uh, it will be well uh, received. And uh, the uh, conference uh, notes and papers will be very interesting to have uh, with you. Yeah, so I encourage those who are really interested in conference uh, uh, sort of circuit, please be there. Yeah, be part of it. Mm. So the the uh, what website um, address actually to go to if you want to register online is www.igem. That's i g e m dot com dot my. Yes, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. How many people have you had already registering online? I if you have, have the figures, five hundred already registered. Five hundred. Huh? Yeah. So the exhibition is free for admission. What about the conference? The conference you have to pay uh, mm -hmm. because there is a, there is a lunch, there is a conference paper. There are conference papers mm -hmm. and uh, refreshments and so on, mm -hmm. uh, which we have to bought bear cost la. so oh, that's right. why we have to charge All right. we have to hold that thought uh, you know I kind of forgot to go for a commercial break sorry uh, we'll be right back and we'll discuss of course tie up some loose ends here on IGM 2010 which has actually attracted a lot of attention right now on Hello Malaysia we'll be right back Uh, thanks for staying with us on Hello Malaysia. Uh, it is notably the region's largest green technology and eco products exhibition, and this is, of course, to enhance all the green opportunities. Uh, that's, of course, present at IGM 2010. And one of the opportunities that, um, thank you so much, Dan Sri, for bringing up earlier on the green technology financing scheme. Yeah, it sounds uh, very interesting right here, YB. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. I think for the first time in Malaysia's history, mm -hmm. The uh, Minister of Finance has uh, established a green technology financing scheme mm -hmm. for uh, green technology users and uh, promoters of green technologies. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so this is a 1.5 billion mm -hmm. ringgit uh, Malaysian ringgit uh, scheme. Uh, basically, it is a scheme uh, in the form of a loan, a very low interest loan mm -hmm. that uh, users of technology, that promoters of technology can, green technologies can uh, 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 access to uh, via the banks, via the banks. So what happens is like this, if uh, you are interested, then you have to submit a project. Okay. to our Green Tech Corporation, which is an uh, agency under my ministry. Green Tech Corporation. Green Tech mm. Corporation. Okay. Now, this Green Tech Corporation is located at Bangi. Mm. Of course, if you go into our website, you can access all this yeah, mm. information. Now, what happened is this. You have to submit your project papers and get a green certificate. Mm. In other words, to convince uh, Green Tech Corporation that your project is a green project. Mm. In other words, low carbon, as I said just now. Yes. Yeah, And uh, it has components of Malaysian, of course. Uh, we don't want to provide you know, uh, financing to uh, foreigners just per se, like that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, So they have to, uh, first of all, uh, be a Malaysian company. Totally Malaysian? Yeah, if you, don't have, if you are a foreign company, you, can, you have to partner with a Malaysian company. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, having got that green certificate, you will then submit your application for a loan to a bank, a participating bank. Mm. Uh, in fact, all the big banks in Malaysia are participating. Mm. So uh, from there, they will look at your viability, economic viability of your project. Now, if your project is economic viable, if you are a technology um, uh, provider, you can uh, Access up to 50, you know, technically you can access up to 50 million. 50 million. Ringgit as a, as a loan. 
-hmm. Now, if you are a user, you can access up to 10 million. Now, whether your project is viable or not, economically viable or not, this is up to the bank to assess. Mm. Now, having got through that portion, say if the bank agrees. Now, what happens is this. The loan, if say you get uh, 50 million, all right, mm -hmm. then that uh, loan of uh, 50 million, 60% of it will be uh, guaranteed by the credit corporation, credit, mm. uh, credit guarantee corporation, corporation. CGC. CGC. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's how it works. That's how it works. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. if you maybe charge a, uh, an interest rate, all right? Say if you charge an interest rate of 4% by the bank, mm. or it's, you know, maybe 5% or 4% by the bank. Now, what the Minister of Finance, who is our Prime Minister, he has promised that the government will foot 2% of your interest. In other words, instead of paying 4%, you are only paying 2%. Mm -hmm. So very low. Very interest, low. Yeah. Very low interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it's a very soft loan, in other words. Right. So we've just got about a minute, actually, before we wrap things up. Perhaps very fast here. Yeah? We'd like to find out the highlights. I understand that the official opening is by the Prime Minister. Prime Minister and, of course, the Yang Di Agung is coming. And also the ruler from the state of Negri Milan. Is that right? We'll be visiting the yeah. exhibition. Correct. Visiting the exhibition, Correct. yeah. So that will be the highlight. And that would mm. be happening on what date? Is the, the opening will be on the 13th afternoon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the 13th afternoon mm -hmm. 13th October okay. all right uh, the uh, young Pertuan Agong will visit the uh, the function uh, the, the, the exhibition, exhibition on the 15th on the 15th at 3.30 yes mm -hmm. on the 15th at 3.30 so that has also interests yeah yeah, yeah. 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 And of course, uh, yeah, Yang Dipertua Besar di Negeri Simulan, he is coming uh, on the 16th at 11 yeah. So, so I, I, what I want to stress is uh, we were getting VVIP visitors mm. at the conference and we are very proud of the fact that we, uh, we have a, you know, a, a conference, an exhibition and conference that you know, can pull in even the Agong to visit. Mm. So, yeah. Okay, so Tan Sri, perhaps you'd like to add anything before we wrap up very quickly? Well, I think again, I would like to appeal uh, to create the awareness among the uh, among the, the general public. Mm -hmm. And also, don't forget to bring your children as well. These mm -hmm. are the, the future sure. uh, future generation that would benefit from sure. this green initiative. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Tan Sri Mustafa Mansu, who is uh, um, Green Purchasing Networks Malaysia President as GPNM and of course our dear Yang Muhammad Datuk Sri Peter Chin Fakui with the Minister of Energy Green Technology and Water Malaysia very green here and of course the theme is a Green New Deal let's find out more at the IGM 2010 International Green Tech and Eco Products Exhibition and Conference Malaysia happening from the 14th to the 17th of October 2010 at the Kuala Lumpur Convention Centre Malaysia and find out more about some of the um, major initiatives that's being done to of course promote green technology and also the green technology financing scheme that's coming up and thank you so much for joining us on Hello Malaysia and Edwards we'll see you again very soon